the ease of of the inspection part of it with being able to scan uh, all of our pre-fills are put in our inspection forms are built so it's point and click so it's it's not data entry so we don't have uh, an advisor or work method specialist uh, sitting there entering data you're pointing and clicking doing the inspection the important part and with the with the wave of the info chip and an in, and the enter button and that all that information is documented so uh, that's that's where we we find the simplicity of its use they have to be an info chip partner to do that information for us perform the inspection calibration repair recertification and ship them back to Atchison So at the touch of a button um, on our, our intranet, our guys in the field have computers in their trucks and they'd be able to uh, type in a certain tool, whether it be a grip, a sling, a shackle, and they'll, it'll pull up a list of what needs to be done for daily inspection and then we'll know what the frequency is. When Occupational Health and Safety says, tell me when the last time that piece of equipment was inspected. So at the touch of a button, we could pull a report. Um, we could go do a blitz in an area and have a look at all their potential testers. So um, inventory wise, inspection wise, so nothing slips through the cracks. So we know that all of our equipment has been tested as per the manufacturer's uh, specifications. So lanyard and harness chip separately, annual inspection required, info chip on a battery operated tool for identification purposes, battery operated presses, battery operated cutters, so just a different application of the disc. Potential tester, the aux blocks are our hand line. So all different types of meters, whether it be a volt meter, amp meter, potential meter, piece of equipment for boom monitoring. Climbers. Secondary. Ball restriction. I'll show you one that's attached to the actual body belt. The ability to scan the competitor's chip. We went through the company and documented all of our uh, equipment. So we documented what the serial number was. It was never done before. The serial number, the oil PCB content, year of manufacture. So had we had info chip in 1920 when Powerline first started getting built, all of that information could be on an RFID tag or, or attached to one at ground level that we could read easily.